Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. And today's theme is, is piercing and challenging. And here it is. Ignoring wisdom has consequences. If, if God brings his wisdom to us, if we understand his wisdom, we say, no thanks, no interest, I'm going to do it my way. There's consequences involved. It, it, the passage is actually uh, kind of sharp and cutting because wisdom, personified as this woman, is now speaking to those people who don't want any wisdom. And wisdom, let's just say, gets a little bit sassy in this passage. So just listen closely to God's word. Here's wisdom speaking. But since you refuse to listen when I call, and no one pays attention when I stretch out my hand, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, listen to what wisdom says next. I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, when distress and trouble overwhelm you. Wisdom says, I'm going to laugh and I'm going to mock. Ouch. I mean, <laughs> that hurts. But here's what wisdom is saying. And again, this isn't God speaking. This is, this is God's word, but it's the voice of wisdom. And wisdom is saying, I'm giving you all you need. I'm, I'm pointing out what, you know, this pitfall, this challenge. And you, if you ignore it, if you keep going, if you keep making the, those ridiculous choices, man, when you get in trouble, I'm going to go, see, you, you got what you deserved. What goes around comes around. You know, and, and so there, there's a serious, serious warning here. Here's some things we need to understand. We live in a culture that doesn't like consequences. We want to be able to do whatever we want to do and, and, and not face consequences. Uh, when, when we refuse to listen to someone and there's consequences, we go, well, it's not, it's not my fault. Wisdom says, no, if you have the wisdom, you ignore it, then it is your fault. When we don't pay attention to something and then we want to kind of blame someone else for it, be careful. Wisdom would say, if, if God's given you the direction, given you the clarity, and you don't follow it, you kind of live with your own consequences. When we disregard what we know is right, there's going to be consequences. In verse 26, again, listen to what wisdom says. I, in turn, will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when calamity overtakes you. You say, well, wisdom seems kind of mean-spirited. No, because wisdom is personified, but wisdom isn't a person. Wisdom is, is reality. It's truth. And when we ignore truth, when we, when we reject what God puts in front of us and do it our way, we live with the consequences, whether we like to or not. And then verse 27 says this, when calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster sweeps over you like a whirlwind, that's the picture, a storm, whirlwind. When your life gets spun around and turned upside down because, because you or I keep doing unwise things, foolish things. Isn't it interesting that oftentimes atheists, the only time they talk about God is when something horrible happens in their life and they want to blame, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God. How could God let this happen? You see how evil God is? God, you know, the, the people who say they don't believe in God, all of a sudden start believing in God when they want to blame God for things. And oftentimes what we face in life, not all the time, but oftentimes it happens because we pressed forward into something that we knew wasn't right. If we have a doctor's warning about our health, and we foolishly ignore it. It may cost us. Don't blame God for that. That's our own choice to ignore the wisdom given through doctors. If, if we have a child whose behavior is getting worse and worse, and we don't want to face it, we don't want to deal with it, so we ignore it, and that child begins to kind of blow up, don't blame God for that. Don't blame other people for that. We ignored the signs. We didn't listen to wisdom. If, if you have warnings at work from your boss and your boss says, don't do this, don't do that, and you do it anyways. When things blow up, don't point to someone else, don't point at your boss, don't point at God. Say, you know what? All the signs were right there in front of me. I just didn't care. And, and, and I'm reaping the whirlwind. I'm weeping, reaping the calamity, the storm that's hit my life. Wisdom warns us. If we reject wisdom when it's placed in front of us, there's going to be consequences. And so here's the encouragement. Listen to the voice of wisdom. If God is speaking to you through a doctor, through a friend, a friend who's loved you enough to say, I'm really concerned about this. If you keep walking down that road, it's going to cost you. And we just ignore them. Listen to wisdom in the scriptures from people. Anywhere it comes from. All truth is God's truth. All wisdom ultimately comes from the hand and the heart and the mind of God. So listen to wisdom and pursue it. 
and, and don't find yourself in the whirlwind, in the storm, in calamity, because you ignored God's wisdom. Oh God, this is our prayer today, that we would have the courage to follow your wisdom, that we would not walk on the path of foolishness where we, we know that, that something in front of us is dangerous, is risky, is irresponsible, is ill-advised, and we just continue walking down that path. And oh God, when we do reap the consequences, let us not blame you, but run to you for comfort and strength and to take your wisdom and from that point on, follow your wisdom. Let us grow in wisdom this day and every day, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline Church, we invite you to come and join us at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock for worship online and on campus. If you're part of any other church anywhere else, get involved in your local church, be part of God's family, walk in wisdom this week, take one truth from today and live it into your life. Blessings, have a great day.